Sickle cell disease is a group of disorders that affects hemoglobin, the molecule which delivers oxygen throughout body. It is one of the most common genetic disorder in the United States, affecting about one in every 375 African American children. Beta globin, a molecule of hemoglobin is affected in this disease. Beta globin proteins are found inside red blood cells. These proteins carry another molecule, called heme group. Inside the red blood cell, two beta globin and two alpha globin proteins, along with each globin's heme group, combine to form one molecule of hemoglobin. The heme of each globin binds the oxygen molecule. Beta globin gene is located on chromosome 11 which is transcribed into beta globin protein in people with sickle cell a mutation changes the code of beta globin gene instead of containing gag codon it contains gtg codon near the beginning of gene gag codes for glutamate while gtg encodes valine amino acid Valine has a critical effect on the behavior of entire hemoglobin. When oxygen is released by the hemoglobin, valine becomes very sticky to nearby V-shaped notch. When two separate hemoglobin come near each other, the valine and notch interlock. More and more hemoglobin link up to the pair, and a long rod structure of hemoglobin is formed, which is called as hemoglobin polymer. The long polymer of hemoglobin are stiff, and they stretch the red blood cell into the shape of sickle, or a banana. The cell only springs back to its normal shape when it returns to the lungs, and captures more oxygen. Oxygen binding instantly breaks up the polymer. This repeat of springs in and out of sickle shape makes the cell struck in sickle shape. It also damages the cell and cell dies after 10 to 20 days, instead of living out normal span of 120 days. The premature death of red blood cells causes shortage of red blood cell, also called, anemia. Shortage lowers the amount of oxygen to the body, and causes fatigue, shortness of breath, and slow rate of growth. The sickle-shaped cell are more likely to adhere to the walls of blood vessels which causes blockage. This starts piling up and creating a large barrier, which prevents even the normally shaped cells too. Due to this blockage, no oxygen can get to the tissues downstream, and cells in these tissues begins to die. This cause very localized and severe pain in these tissues. There are particular areas that are vulnerable to blockage. In spleen, tissue damage impairs the ability of spleen to filter bacteria out, and make antibodies to fight bacterial infection. Due to blockage in lungs, any bacterial or viral infection gets struck. Red blood cannot pick up enough oxygen, and less oxygen causes even more cell to sickle. This whole process spiral into lung failure blockage in brain's blood vessels can cause stroke. A person who has stroke, loses ability to think, perceive sights, sound or smell, and walk or move easily.